Good afternoon, scientists. The question that we will be researching today is what does a scientist do when they're writing to teach others? We know that scientists write to plan, to record what happened, and they write to teach. So, how did it go yesterday when you were filling out the results of your mini inquiry? Today, we're going to look at a piece of writing and think about how it is made and what the parts of that writing are. First, the author started with the question, will a toy car go farther down a ramp on carpet or bare floor? Next, the author included the hypothesis. I think the car will travel farther on a bare floor because carpet has friction and will slow the car down. Then the author wrote about the results from the first experiment. The first time we tried the car on the rug, it went 57 centimeters. The second time it was 54 centimeters and the last time was 53 centimeters. They were all in the 50s. For experiment two, on the wood floor, it went 311 centimeters. Second was 269 centimeters, and the last was 253 centimeters. All were in the 200s. Next, the author records their results and conclusion. My hypothesis was right. It did slow down on the rug. The friction stopped the car from going faster. The car did go faster on the floor because there was nothing blocking it from going. The difference between the rug and the floor is the rug is soft and textured and the floor is smooth. We know to write like a scientist, first we ask a question about how the world works. Did the author do that in this text? Second, to write like a scientist, we record a hypothesis or a guess. Did the author do that in this text? Third, to write like a scientist, we record our procedure. How will we test it? Uh-oh, I think the author forgot this part. Hmm, we'll come to it later. Four, scientists conduct multiple trials and record their results. Did the author do this in this text? And five, scientists analyze their results and write a conclusion. Did the author do this in this text? Oh no, you may have realized that the author forgot to record the procedure. You're going to help with this today by writing a procedure for this experiment. So, what does a scientist do when writing the procedure section of his or her lab report? Let's find out. Today you are going to write a new procedure page, a blank one, and you will have the chance to write that page all over from the beginning, making it so, so much better. Right now, think about what needs to be included in your procedure. Make sure you include a you will need section. Draw pictures that teach with labels and details and number all the steps of the experiment. Scientists, if you can, take a picture of your procedure and share it with me on Google Classroom. Have fun, see you soon.